Good morning, Walk with a Dog. Thank you for joining us for this virtual Walk with a Dog. We have a really great one coming your way from Dr. Natalie Gentili. Um, she is going to be talking to us about how your lifestyle impacts your legacy. Uh, so looking forward to sharing that with you. Um, first, I just want to thank everybody for joining us, um, for getting out and moving, and for taking control of your health and impacting your legacy. It's really hot out there, so I encourage everyone to be drinking water at all times. Um, keep getting those steps in where you can. It's really important. Um, with that, I want to give a shout out to Sherry from New York. Oh, she's been a walking rock star, and you should see some of her pictures on our social channels. Thank you, Sherry, for posting and sharing and walking and encouraging us. Um, now I want to turn it over to Dr. G. Um, again, your lifestyle impacts your legacy. Um, after you tune in and watch this, please go out and get out, get in some steps and uh, log into social media or shoot us an email and tell us all about it. Thanks, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Dr. G here. Walk with a doc day. What a gorgeous morning. Sunny. Birds are chirping. It's warm. I've got the kids with me. Say walk with a doc. Nice. And Layla. Hi, Lay. So for today's Walk with a Doc educational chat, I just really quickly wanted to touch on something that I like to talk about when I go do uh, community engagement talks, and it's called uh, your genes versus your recipes and how your lifestyle can end up affecting your legacy. So a couple of things. One, we know that there's a connection between our lifestyle factors and our body's ability to either fight or help and fuel disease. A lot of times we'll hear patients um, and people come in saying, hey, I have a history of diabetes. My whole family has a history of diabetes, so most likely I'm gonna have diabetes. Or I've got a family history of high cholesterol, so of course I have high cholesterol and there's nothing that I can do about it. Turns out that that's not necessarily true. Just because you have a family history of certain chronic diseases doesn't mean that you have to fall prey to those diseases as well. That all comes down to a theory and a concept called epigenetics. Basically what that means is we're born with DNA, born with a certain uh, code, but the things that we do in our life, our lifestyle factors, our diet, our exercise, our stress response, our ability to have connectivity with others, our social support, our sleep, all of those things play in to how that genetic code is going to be expressed. I'll give you an example. Women that were pregnant during the time of 9-11, studies show that their children actually had a higher irritability and issue with stress response to anxious situations, new people, new foods, new smells. And this is really interesting because those babies were not, you know, exposed to 9-11 outside of the womb, right? But it's the fact that moms that were exposed and traumatized at that time passed down these epigenetic factors that then affected uh, their children. So that to me is actually empowering um, in the sense that you could be able to affect your lifestyle and be able to make positive changes that could then help you and the generations after you. What do we know about ways that we can have a better lifestyle? What is the epigenetics diet? These are all really interesting topics. I do wanna share the epigenetics diet focuses around whole plant foods. So uh, broccoli, soybeans, reservatrol inside of grapes, vitamin C. These foods are really important for moving that genotype, so your genetic code, into a positive phenotype, which is the way that your body expresses your health, um, the way we look, the way our hair is colored. These are all examples of phenotypes. So how can we affect our genotype into a positive phenotype? Positive lifestyle change. Improving your diet to incorporate more whole plant foods. What does that look like? Whole grains, legumes, chickpeas, bees, lentils, peas. And I, didn't, I didn't mean to say bees, I meant beans. <laughs> Fruits, vegetables, lowering your refined food intake, your refined grain intake, your white sugars, your white flours, focusing on healthy fats, so your plant-based fats, minimizing your highly processed fats like oil, minimizing animal protein intake. These are all super important when it comes to affecting a healthy epigenetic change in your body. 
So I wanna empower you today on this beautiful day, walking with a doc to take charge of your health. Your genes don't necessarily affect your destiny. They don't necessarily mean that the way you're gonna turn out is just like everybody else in your family. Pass down positive recipes, positive recipes of healthy foods, positive recipes of social support, having a purpose, a community, positive recipes of good sleep hygiene, having some type of physical activity in your life. So getting out and moving, taking a walk, doing yoga, meditation, focusing on stress response, focusing on managing your anxiety and depression. It's important to take charge of your health so that you can continue a positive and healthy legacy down the line and for yourself. Take care. Have a wonderful walk.